From weird objects to weird animals and more, here are nine of the creepiest things found in the woods. Number 9. The Flatwoods Monster On September 12, 1952, in West Virginia, an odd event happened that is still unexplained to this day. A fireball was seen in the sky. But, unlike regular comets and such, this fireball was seen all across the United States. There were sightings of it from California all the way to West Virginia. Edward and Fred May, who were in West Virginia, saw the fireball and then realized it crashed on a nearby farm. Along with their friend, their mother, and neighbor, they went to go and observe the crash site. When they did arrive, though, the area was covered in an odd mist, and a metallic sound of sorts was filling the air. As they tried to get closer to figure out what was going on, a pair of red eyes looked at them through the mist. It was then that they saw the creature in its full form. The creature that was looking at them was 10 feet tall and had a glowing green body. The creature hissed at them and started to approach, to which all of them ran. Obviously, they told whoever they could about the event, and the people went out to go look for it, but they found nothing. Yet, a reporter found some odd skid marks near where the crash was, and also found an odd gooey deposit. The mystery was never truly solved. The people who saw the creature stuck to their story, and again, the red fireball was indeed spotted all across the United States. So were they just lying? And what did they have to gain if they were? Interestingly enough, this encounter was so famous that it was featured in an episode of the History Channel series, Project Blue Book, where the explanation of the monster was a mix of gas, hallucinations, and an owl perched on an outstretched tree. But was that indeed what was seen in the woods that night? The world may never know. Number 8. Trail Cam Clown There are numerous trails and parks all over the world, and to those that want to help keep things safe and secure, they go and hide hidden cameras all over the trails. This helps keep park rangers and other officials in the loop as to what is going on. That would be fine, except one of these hidden cameras caught a clown looking right at it one day, which is weird in many ways. Just to be clear, it's not just that the clown is there that's weird, it's that it looks like it's posing for the camera. A convenient shot or a message? Why was this clown there? What was it doing? How did it know about the camera? Was this just a prank for the people behind the camera? or something else. Number 7. Jersey Devil According to legend, a woman named Jane Mother Leeds had many children during her life. But one night, she was giving birth to what would be her 13th child, and when it was being born, she uttered the words, let this one be the devil. If you believe the story, that wish came true. For after being born, it grew horns, wings, and a tail. It flew up the chimney of her house and went out into the world. So says the legend of the Jersey Devil. The Jersey Devil is said to live in the Pine Barrens of southern New Jersey, hence the name of the beast. And throughout its lifetime, it's been one of the cryptid who has been spotted by many people over the years. The first sighting of the creature came in 1812, when Joseph Bonaparte, the literal older brother to Napoleon Bonaparte, said he saw the creature near his New Jersey estate. In 1909, the legend grew to new heights. Over 1,000 sightings of the Jersey Devil came that year including some cannon soldiers who saw the creature, shot it, hit it, and said it still lived as it didn't drop dead from the shot. Fueled by this and the finding of some tracks that didn't match creatures of the area, bloodhounds were brought in to try to find the creature, but bloodhounds apparently refused to follow the tracks. More and more sightings have followed, even some coming as late as 2015. Some even claim to have taken videos or pictures of the creature, but some still believe it to be a myth while others fear finding it when they themselves head into the woods. Number 6. The Second Man If you were to look at this picture straight on, you wouldn't think too much about it more than likely, because on it is a man standing on the edge of a cliff intentionally and looking directly at the camera. No doubt to pose and get a great shot. We've all done it before, but if you look just to the left of the man, you'll notice that he's not alone. There's someone in the trees just the left of him, and they too are looking at the camera. This raises a lot of questions. First off, if you look at the pic itself, you'll notice that it's not on a digital photograph. There's a crease on the top right corner, meaning it was taken on a regular camera, printed, and then scanned to the computer. Which means that this isn't fake, or very highly not fake. And if it isn't, what is that guy doing there hiding in the trees? 
It's possible the camera person didn't notice them until later on, but still, that's creepy, and you have to wonder what happened after this picture was taken. Number five, strange formation. Nature is full of wonders, but it's also full of mysteries, including how certain formations are made. Take a look at this formation that someone found while going through the woods. It looks like something man-made, and yet it appears to be something that nature did somehow. What's more, if it was man-made, what's the point of it? What does this do for someone or anyone? Why is it here? No one really knows. It looks like something you'd find in a fantasy novel or show or cartoon. Given this setting, it could be perceived as a gateway to another place. But whether that is the actual intent, though, is unclear. Which brings us back to how did it get made? Nature is known to make some unique things, but man has been able to manipulate nature to do things like this. So which is it? Just as important, why do it like this? Number four, the clowns of Greenville. In Greenville, South Carolina, there was a string of strange incidents involving kids and clowns. Yes, that does sound like the story of it, but trust me when I say that this is even weirder and possibly creepier. According to the kids, there were multiple clowns in the area and they were trying to lure the kids into the woods with money, which is definitely not appropriate. Apparently, there were a lot of kids who almost went into the woods, but instead they went and told the police about what was going on. Smart move. Donna Arnold was one of those parents whose child had been approached by a clown. She recalled the events. At first, I thought he was telling a fib, and I said, go in the house and we'll talk about this when I get in, because I didn't want it all over the place, Arnold told NBC station WYFF. But the next day, 30 kids came to me and said, Miss Donna, Miss Donna, there's clowns in the woods, there's clowns in the woods. My child was with me, so I knew they had to see something. There was more than one kid that saw them, so I feel confident that he was telling the truth. The police never found anything about the clowns, which makes it all the more creepy. Was this some plot to take children? Was this just meant to scare people? No one really knows. Number three, girl and the deer. Don't worry, this isn't a case of the deer being chased by the girl. However, this trail cam photo shows a very weird thing going on because there is a little girl in this picture and she is really close to two deer. Granted, it is possible to sneak up on deer, and it's possible this cam caught that moment before the deer fled. You can even see the female deer looking at the girl while the buck is full-on deer in the headlights at the camera. But if you think about it, that's not the creepy part. The creepy part is the fact that this girl is in the woods in the middle of the night by herself. Plus, look at what she's wearing. That's not casual wear, that looks like nightwear. So why is she out in the woods at night and getting close to these deer? The world may never know. Number two, Holocaust artifacts. The Holocaust stands as one of the greatest tragedies the human race ever caused. The final solution cost 10 million people their lives, six million of them being Jewish. What was just as terrifying were the concentration camps that they were housed in and how badly they were mistreated. In Poland, a museum in what was the Stutthof concentration camp stands tribute to those who lost their lives in it. But one day, someone decided to take a walk into the woods just outside the camp, and what they found was shocking. There were pieces of uniforms scattered around the woods. Some of them were clearly prisoner garbage, including belts and shoes. There were a lot of these items too, and it made it all the more curious that no one had found them before. One of the people who worked at the museum was shocked by this reveal. No one had apparently searched the forest before. Makes you wonder what else could be around various former concentration camps. While some are disturbed by these finds, the bigger thing here is that this is another look at the history of this event. And even the most horrifying finds can help keep this part of history, especially when a large part of the world question whether the Holocaust even happened as it was too gruesome to be real. Number one, Isla de las Muñecas. The infamous Island of the Dolls is regarded as one of the most haunted places in the world today, largely in part to the legend that surrounds it. There was once a caretaker for the island, 
One day, he found a dead girl's body floating right outside of the canal of the island. Not long after he buried her, he felt that he was actually being haunted by the girl. Desperate to bring peace to her spirit, he started making dolls and collecting them. After he was finished with them, he put them all over the island's woods. Why? Well, he wanted her to have something to play with and thus leave him alone. Later on, the caretaker died in the very same river that the girl he found had died in. Some even say it was the exact same spot too. Ever since then, reports about the island and its haunted nature have emerged. Mainly, people keep claiming that the dolls strewn across the island are moving. Whether it be their eyes or their heads, they swear they're alive. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these creepy things found in the woods? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.